Hello, fellow fish nerds, and happy, well, I'm going to my local fish club auction Saturday to you. Uh, finally, I can say it is local fish club auction season. Michael from Michael's Fish Room was able to say it like a month ago, but finally I'm able to, I've been looking forward to this one for months now. Um, I looked on Facebook this morning as I was waking up because, you know, it's the first thing everybody does. I do it every once in a while. I check Facebook. I'm not on it as much as I used to. Used to be. Um, anyways, I was on Facebook and I noticed that Jeremy, Sergeant Tank, uh, he's also going to a local fish club auction today. So, Jeremy, happy local fish club auction Saturday to you also. Um, I'm hoping, first off, I look at the auction list, and it's huge. It's 17 pages. 17 pages of items. It's crazy. Sorry, it's bumpy. Um, 17 pages. Just, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the stuff that we have in our regular monthly auctions, but 17 pages... And some of them are tag sales of fish tanks. There we go. Let's block the sun a little bit. This, uh, I hate the winter sun. I hate it. I hate the angle of the winter sun. It's not even winter time yet. It's just barely fall. Come on, people. What are you doing? Filming a video while you're driving? Come on. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about this one. Saw a few things that I might have my eye on, but I've got to avoid the temptation. Don't really have anywhere to put them unless I do some moving around a lot. There is one thing I've got in mind that I had my eye on. Um, hoping to see some local fish farmers there. Uh, maybe Ray from Ray's Aquarium will be there. Maybe. Adam from AC Aquatics will be there. Maybe LJ from LJ Aquatics will be there. A lot of aquatics people. Hoping to, you know, just talk fish all day today a little bit with some people. Maybe see former student there. By former student, I mean he's in college now. <clears throat> and, um, geez, son. Hold on a second, I'll fix it. Jesus, horrible. I, mean, I like the sunshine, but come on. Also, really quick question before I turn the camera off here. Is it tacky I'm wearing my own shirt? You can't even see the seat belt because I'm driving somewhat safely. Is it tacky that I'm wearing my shirt to the local fish club auction? I don't think so. I th the way I see it, this is the biggest local fish event in the Richmond area that would be a way to promote my channel and therefore uh, uh, promote help out uh, my local fish store uh, Click and Fish because that's my thought so but of course you know getting a few subs in the meantime wouldn't be bad and this way, I don't I tell people they don't, they don't text themselves or, you know, write a note. They can just take a picture of my shirt. And there it is. It's a reminder. That's my plan. Uh, speaking of the shirt, thank you, uh, Rogue Aquatics. Link to his channel right here. Um, for um, helping me out because my computer, my Chromebook, I was not able to convert a jpeg into a png file so he was able to help me to make it transparent and i think he did some stuff with the font too which was pretty cool so thank you for that uh so anyways i'm gonna go to the fish club auction so comment below with what you think i'm gonna get what, what your guesses are if you think i'm gonna get anything I'm trying to be good got i've got birthday money in my uh, pocket right now. How old am I? 34, and I still get birthday money. Come on. Anyways, I got cash, and it's really burning a hole in my pocket because I never have, never have cash in my pocket. I never have more than $20 in my pocket, cash. 
If I have one dollar, that's like huge. That means I can go like the vending machine or whatever. Or have a dollar in my pocket. But anyways, comment below what you think I'm going to get. I'm about to get off the exit right here. I love how close I am to my local fish club. I It's in the same county as I live in. It's uh, only 15 minutes away. It's even faster by interstate. Especially when it's on a Saturday like this and no one's going to the beach. So this interstate's completely open. And uh, it's the exit. It's right off the exit. I mean, couldn't be much easier. So Aquatic Jack, I hope you're there. And if not, I'll hopefully see you soon. Because I uh, would like to meet you or whatever. But it will be pretty easy to find on my shirt today. That's another reason I'm wearing it. Okay, so I don't feel as bad. People who haven't met me in person yet, they can find me. Because how many other Richmonders will have a Mr. Science Geek shirt? Sadly, not enough. Um, anyways, uh, the link be is uh, below for the t-shirt, so be sure to check that out. Um, there are different color options. Um, this is an extra large that I'm wearing. Don't worry, it's not an extra medium. Um, uh, the summer sun, win win summer sun, winter sun. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see some local and not so local uh, Virginia fish farmers there. Maybe that would be cool. Um, there's this lady there that almost re reminds me of Susan. Darn it, son. There we go. Just crazy. Oh my gosh, the parking lot already packed. Let me get some video of rolling up in here. I'm o I'm only four minutes late. And the parking lot's already packed? Jeez, this is huge. Maybe I should just park at the parking ride right here. I'm parking on the parking ride. The parking lot's already filled. This is crazy. Yeah, it says... Look, there's even signs. JRS Auction Parking. We are legitimate... A legitimate event here. This is crazy awesome. So... Anyways, I might live stream. I doubt it. I don't have access to the Wi-Fi here, so probably not going to live stream. Though I would love to. Maybe next year. That'll be my goal for next year. So um, stay tuned and stay fishy, people. I'm going to go check it out. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. So wish me luck on my auctions. Oh, got to put the car in park first. <laughs> but, um, oh, my arm. So... Wish me luck and wish me uh, low auction prices and uh, self-control of not buying too much. I only have one thing in mind. I had my eye on a second thing, but I'm like, no, no, maybe not. But we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned and stay fishy, people. Maybe I'll post a video at the end of, like, literally, like, right now uh, showing you what I got or maybe from the auction. So stay tuned. Hello fellow fish nerds and happy water change Wednesday to you. Um, obviously it's a different day because I am wearing different clothes right now. I am on my way to school and uh, I realized this morning, Wednesday morning, yes I know I'm late on filming this, that I didn't have any content for water change Wednesday. I was like, oh wait. Yes, I do. I do have content. I filmed, or I got video, before I went to the local fish club auction. But I was so excited about what I got leaving the local fish club auction that I forgot to record this part. Saying, well, first off, re revealing what I got. Because, spoiler alert, surprise, surprise, I went to a huge yearly, annual, whatever you want to say, fish club auction and I bought stuff but following the advice of Jeremy at Sergeant Tank it was in my budget I had a budget of the past few years of saved up birthday money yes I know I'm 12 years old I still get birthday money whatever okay so cue the jokes down below go for it so anyways that was uh, extra money it's not even you know it's, it's off grid so I used that, and I did buy quite a few items. Not quite a few, I did buy a few items. I filled up a cooler fill. Cooler full, there we go. And uh, so anyways, I did buy some items, and I did see Aquatic Jack. It was kind of cool, I was looking over the inventory of what was gonna be in the auction, and uh, also this person said to me, 
So, Rick, do you know what you're going to get? And I look up, and I didn't recognize the face as being a person from my local fish club. And I kind of gave this funny look, and I said, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to get. He's like, I'm Aquatic Jack. I'm like, ah, I was just talking about you in the car right over here. He's like, who are you talking to? I said, I was making a video. He's like, oh, okay. So that was pretty cool to meet him. <clears throat> Ray from Ray's Aquaria was not there. Um, LJ from LJ Aquatics was also not there for understandable reasons. But um, <clears throat> I did get an awesome chance to meet some awesome... I know, I know, Dr. Red Pill, I said awesome twice in the same sentence just now. I did get a chance to meet some great fellow fish keepers. And that was really cool. Um, but anyways, so I did buy some fishy items some fishy goodness and uh and i'm pulling my parking space so that's why i'm a little bit distracted here um i did get some fishy items in fact two of them are riding in the back of the car right now you want to see oh you can't see i'm sorry oh that was a jerk move of me maybe was that planned yes okay I'm parked, that's why I'm taking off my um, my uh, seatbelt. So don't worry, I'm not like crazy driver like that. So, anyways, uh, I did buy some items. Uh, two of them are in the backseat right now. They're going to go into my classroom. Um, I actually did, yeah, two of them are going to my classroom. Um, one of them is already in my tank at home. Two of them are already in my tanks at home, actually. And um, one of them... Aquatic Jack kind of uh, spoiled in the Monday Night Live stream. I'll post a link to that, hopefully right here if I remember to check that. Um, but and he kind of gives it away, but doesn't fully give it away. So let me just say that. It's pretty exciting. Um, I will reveal one of the items that I got um, at the Fish Club auction this Friday, Friday because technically they are kind of fry they're young they're not fry they're not fully grown they're not sub adults they're young they're young fish so i'm gonna i'm gonna classify as fry for fry friday so that way i can reveal to you what i got a little bit faster <clears throat> saturday i will be uh revealing um the exact organism that uh jack um from aquatic jack gave away uh spoiled kind of a little bit in the live stream on monday i'll be so obviously that gives you a hint as to what it is if it's coming out this Saturday, obviously I bought a local fish store. <laughs> um, <clears throat> then I'll probably reveal my other item that's in the back of the car. Wow, the lighting got really weird. Um, that's not, the other item that's in the back of my car, I'll probably reveal that uh, probably next Friday, Friday, because that's also a young fish. Um, and then I will reveal the other aquatic organism probably next Water Change Wednesday. Um... I don't know, it might be next Shrimp Saturday. Who knows? But it'll be over the course of the next two weeks. So just be excited. Don't be irritated. Don't be frustrated. Be excited that every video coming out for the next two weeks is a reveal video. Cue the applause um, sound effect. Oh, yay! Oh, how that happened? I have special effects now. Look at all these big bucks I'm spending in editing. So... Be sure to stay tuned. So in order to stay tuned, be sure to click that notification bell down below. Subscribe wherever that button is. I'm pointing in random directions. I'm pointing at the gear shifter and my cup of Mountain Dew from Taco Bell. So, but anyways, click on the... Actually, here. You know what? There we go. Click on this down below so that you can stay notified of whenever I post a new video. Because over the next two weeks... Every video is going to be a reveal video. Yay! Then, be sure to click the red... I don't have a red thing in here other than the red button on the record on my screen. But, click the red button to subscribe. Comment below with what you think I got because... And, if you're in the local fish club, don't give it away because you know what I got. Aquatic Jack, don't give it away because you know what I got. Who else knows what I got? My students don't really know yet. I don't think. If, if they know, don't post on here what I got, okay? Um, so anyways, have a great day. Stay tuned and stay fishy, people.